Welcome back painting friends. Today we are gonna paint a hippo. You're gonna need lots of blues, okay? So I've got like a light blue, a dark blue, a teal. I also have purple, green, black, and white. I like to use my four favorite brushes. So I have my one inch flat brush as well as my 10, six, and one round brush. Don't forget to have a cup of water as well as a rag handy for keeping your brushes clean. So let us get started. Um, I'm going to start with my background like I always do. And I'm going to use my number 10 round brush to create my sky versus my water. So I'm going to use um, this teal color to make a line. And this line is going to be right in the center of my canvas. Now everything below that line I'm going to paint in with this teal mixture. So I'm going to put teal as well as that light blue and the dark blue. Okay, so those are gonna be my base color. So teal, light blue, dark blue. Everything on the top, I'm gonna to use the light blue and the white so that it looks more like a sky. So let's get this on there. With that brush, when it's still a little dirty, I'm gonna take spots of white and just kind of drop it on my water area. A Little bit random, don't make it too nice and neat, and then just pull those across, lightening it up a little bit, but also letting it look like there's some movement in the water. I can take this brush, I can wipe it off. I'm not gonna wash it off because then I'm gonna take some white paint and I'm just gonna add some dots of clouds in my sky. So I just got some white paint on a dirty one inch flat brush and I'm just dabbing from the left to the right, allowing those colors to mix in a little bit with my sky. As they get lower to the water, I want to use less of the color. Now, because we're making a hippo, we are not making an ocean animal. We do want to add some land to our picture because we want it to definitely look like he is not out in the ocean. That's not where hippos need to be. So I'm going to use some black paint and right here along this line, I'm going to make just a small line and I'm just going to give it a little wiggly line so that it looks as though there is some land out there. I'm going to do that on both sides. This side can be a little bit less, or if you want to, you can make it go all the way across even. All right, with this finished, I'm gonna go ahead and wash my brushes off, let my background dry. When we come back, we are gonna add in our cute little hippo. So with a dry background, let's go ahead and lay out where a hippo is. Um, I'm going to use my number 10 round brush and some white paint. So I'm gonna start with a gigantic circle for my hippo's head, okay? He's gonna be, he's gonna be loud and proud and right there in the front. So from that gigantic circle, I'm also gonna add in an oval. And this oval is just gonna protrude just a little bit off of his face, okay? So it doesn't have to be huge, but this is gonna kind of be his snout area. So from there, we're just gonna kind of gently connect these two at the base. And then his body. So his body is going to be just a curved line right here because we're not gonna see most of it. And then a kind of a curved line coming down this way. Actually, he's a hippo. He should be a little bit bigger than that. We'll give him two little hippo ears and they're not necessarily rounded. They're more like soft rectangles. So they kind of go up, over, down, and back. Same thing over here. 
So you really have a choice of what color you want your hippo to be. It could be a, a slight tinge of purple or it could be all gray. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint in my hippo using white paint, but I'm gonna add a very small amount of black and a very small amount of purple so that it almost has like a really gentle light gray color. From there, we're gonna add a little bit of shadow. So with a dirty brush, I'm gonna add a little bit of purple. You could choose to use black or a gray color, um, but I'm gonna use a little bit of purple, a little bit of black on my brush, and I'm gonna make just a curved line right here. Okay, and that curved line, after I wipe my brush off, so I'm not washing it, just wiping it, I'm gonna pull that curved line down a little bit. This is kind of where his neck is meeting up with his body. Same brush, I'm gonna add a little bit of purple. No black right up here at the top of his head. I'm gonna brush that in. Same brush, I'm gonna add a little bit of teal paint right here on the inside of his ears. And then wipe my brush off and just kind of brush that in. On his nose, I'm gonna add a little bit of dark purple right here at the top. And just kind of brush that on in. And then I'm gonna take some white right down here in the, in the front of his little nose and make that just a little bit lighter. I'm gonna take that brush, I'm gonna wash it off and wipe it off. And we're gonna let this dry and we come back in, we're gonna finish out our cute little hippo. So with our dry background, we're just gonna go in and finish out our hippo, make our water line and get this cute little guy finished. So now that we have a dry background, let's go ahead and finish out our details so that we can get this cute little guy finished up. Um, I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna make some polka dots on him. So I'm gonna use a little bit of purple paint with a little bit of white and a little bit of black. So I've got three colors on my finger. I've got purple, black, and white. And with that, I'm gonna go right up here on the top of his head and just make a couple of little spots. I'm gonna also add some spots along the back of his head and his back.
wipe my finger off. I'm gonna take then some black paint on that same finger and I'm gonna give him two sweet little eyes. So I like to use my finger when I make eyes on animals because I have a really nice smooth ovalish circle shape. You just wanna make sure that they are the same. Adorable. I'm gonna go back in with my paintbrush. I'm gonna grab a little bit of black paint and I'm gonna make his mouth. So starting right here at the edge, I'm gonna just kind of make it swoop down. It's gonna have a slight bump up. Down. And then it's gonna reconnect over here. Go ahead and wash that brush off. I am gonna give him a couple little hippo teeth sticking out. So with some white paint, I'm gonna make some little rectangles. Wipe that brush off, that black paint. I'm gonna add two little curved lines right up here for his little nose. And wash that brush off. With some white paint, I'm gonna add a small white line right here above his nose. I'm gonna add a couple around the edges of his eyes. I'm gonna add some right around this inside part of his ear and the top of his ear. right at the top of his head and his back. And then right here in the front of his body as well. I'm gonna use the back of my brush with some purple paint to add a couple of spots on his cheek. Now for our water. So we do want our hippo to look like he's in the water. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a, a water line and go straight across um, right through here. So this part of his body is gonna be underwater. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do that. But I'm gonna take that teal colored paint and I'm gonna make a line that goes straight across our cute little hippo. Now from there, I'm gonna go and add some bubbles into my painting. So I'm gonna take my finger with a lot of white paint and some of that teal paint, and I'm gonna make some circles, okay? And this is how we're gonna know that he's underwater, is that some of those circles can be on top of him. Some of those circles can be smaller, some can be bigger. brush with a little bit of green paint and just make some little green grasses growing up from the base of my picture. So all I'm doing is with my number 10 round brush just kind of waving some lines up. You can cover over part of your hippo, you don't have to. On each of these bubbles, I'm gonna take a little bit of that light blue color 
and just add a curved line. And these curved lines can go anywhere and they can have actually more than one. Ooh, I almost did it to his tooth. I thought his tooth was a bubble. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in with my number 10 round brush and I'm gonna water down this light blue paint. So not my teal color, but my light blue color, which is most of what my background is. I'm gonna water it down and I wanna make what's almost like a wash. So when I have it on my brush, it almost looks like a watercolor. It's super, super, super light, super thin. And all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make a couple little lines that go across my hippo and into my water. And I can do that with a little bit of the teal and white on there as well. And last but not least, back in my paintbrush, I'm gonna add a dot to his eye. A big dot and then just underneath it, a smaller dot. Well, there you have it. I think this little hippo is adorable. Don't forget that when you're finished, I never get to see what you're painting at home unless you sign it. So pick a color that's gonna show up well on your canvas and sign your artwork. I always put my initials in the bottom right corner. Remember that I don't get to see what you're making at home unless you post it to our Facebook page, Painting with a Purpose. Remember to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel, Painting with a Purpose, so you're kept up to date on all of our latest tutorials. And remember, as always, stay kind, Stay creative and stay safe. Have a great day, friends. Bye now.